Hello, today I will show you the method of using shapes more efficiently in Excel. The shapes can be used to build custom maps and layouts. The shapes are perfect to users to change the location, size, color and the other properties. By using these sticky buttons, we can interact with the shapes to collect additional data. In this video, I will show how to create the buttons, how to lock them, how to know the user selected shape, relocating the buttons, getting the information and run the VBA code. By connecting a macro to each button, for example, we can create a layout plan and arrange dynamically. First of all, in this video I will show you how to create a sticky buttons. Ok, we can start. First, we will insert a rectangular shape. This will be our button. And change the colors as we like. I choose this one. And add a little bit shadow. That's it. The second step is to add icon. You can select any any icon you want. But I will select this one. Resize it. Put into the box. That yes, that's th the third element will be a text box. The name, the caption is export. I put also into the box hit the control A, select all and format object to lock the cells go to the properties and don't move or size with cells you need to click this one this will lock the cells, lock the objects from moving the cells after that we need to group them after grouping we, we need to repeat the same settings don't move and size with cells and also we need to check lock aspect ratio now our button is secure now I'm changing the name of the cell the name of the button button export now our button is ready I will add some sample shapes. Number one. Yes, number two. And number Okay, now we start to prepare the table. The first column is shape name, and then the other property is left. Top. Width. Height and rotation. Also, I will leave some reserved columns reserve one and reserve two. Then we will set these columns as a table. Okay, to make this selection as a table, hit Ctrl T and check that I have headers, yes, then okay. Now this becomes a table. 
Now let's jump into the code. Okay. First, there is no event in Excel. I mean, shape change or shape moved or shape shape selected events in Excel. We need to watch in every two seconds if the user select a shape or not. To do this, start timer event, start timer routine will do this. As you see, the time serial is 002 means 2 seconds. In 2 seconds the watch shapes routine will trigger. This will keep watching the user is selected a shape or not. First stop timer and the other one our function get visible get active shape this routine is check is if there is a selection and also if selected object is shape then after if active shape get active shape routine change a shape name the button will appear visible properties set true and left and top will be related to selected shape of our form then start timer at the end of the routine but in order to run this code we need to start timer routine should be run at the beginning I will show later for the auto open function but by this time I will start the timer by putting this name into the immediate box write this here start timer and hit enter this will start this routine ok we can try as you see the box will appear when the selected and shape selected but the cell selected if the cell selected box will not appear as you see the important thing is completely dynamic if you can if you add new shape even if you new, add new shape the code is completely compatible and running normally the cell of number one a1 cell shows the name of the shape also then we add a sign macro to the buttons we should put the information to the table first assign it and then then we will edit export click macro and edit yes we need to make uh, an arrangement before that the shape count is a range name we need to adjust that at this cell I will write a formula which is count A this formula counts the cells in a range which are not empty this will give us a row number now it's zero define name shape count now we can use this name in our VBA code ok I will add the 4 to get the exact row number and change the other column numbers for the desired information 
Now we are ready. When we push the export button, all the information are written in the table. Okay, that's it. We create a sticky button and learn how to get the information of the shape, select shape, into the table. You may find the file, this file, and also the VBA code in the description. Thanks for watching.